Good morning. It is currently 9.45 a.m. on Sunday, July 12th, 2015. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. So, um, for some reason, I keep wanting to say June. I still don't quite... Oh my camera autofocus is teasing me. I keep wanting to say June, and I catch myself in time to not say June, but I know it's happening. What a mysterious thing, right? Uh, um, so update from yesterday. I did go ahead and finish editing the audio. I'm going to do one final listen through to just double check quality control, quality assurance uh, to, before I send the file in. Uh, I did also check off the list uh, to watch rewatch the pilot episode of The Flash. And um, what else? Oh, um, victory is mine when it comes to Axiom Verge. I finally uh, beat that jerk Hornet boss into submission. And... Uh, and then uh, proceeded to achieve victory of the game at large. And it's very satisfying. What I've been doing the last... I've been trying to finish off games from my backlog for the last uh, couple weeks, and I'm finding it satisfying. And, uh, so I finished The Witcher, the first Witcher. I uh, just finished Axiom Verge, which was sort of a brief sidestep from working on finishing Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Um, I think next up after that one uh, will be uh, Far Cry 4. Then also on the list um, for games that I got a little ways into and but uh, um, want to finish, I want to finish Shadow of Mordor. Uh, I also uh, I have The Witcher 2 um, already bought. I have a couple of episodes of the Telltale Game of Thrones show, or not show, but uh, game. I have a couple more of those to get through. Uh, three and four are both out that I could play. The one game that I could still do and haven't kind of worked it up the nerve to do yet is Mass Effect 3. I finished the game but the very last piece of DLC, Citadel, has been widely re regarded by many people as excellent. And I'm looking forward to it, except, I don't know, I've been putting off playing it, and I don't know if it's there's an element of like not wanting it to be completely over or what. But I definitely have found myself hesitating. Maybe part of it's just fear that it's been built up too much or something. I don't know, but um, I sure did love Mass Effect 3. And uh, so I would like to do this uh, bit of DLC, but for whatever reason, I don't know. It's just like I'm hesitating for some reason, and I don't know why. It's a mystery. So what's the deal with our own behavior being mysteries sometimes? That's weird and unhelpful. I mean, it's one thing if you just kind of go through life unexamined, you know, and you're just going by instinct on a moment-to-moment -moment basis and you never reflect on it. You know, I mean, there's people who probably live big chunks of their life that way and... Not for me, but I guess if it works for them, then I'm not going to tell them to change. But I, I certainly tend to be the opposite extreme where I overthink and second guess almost everything that I do. And yet, even still, there are frequently, like, you know, the uh, mental pattern I've uh, talked about before where I'll want to do something, but then as it actually gets close, a part of me will pull away and want to not go and I have to push through that to go and then I enjoy myself when I do. 
if I push myself. So that's a pattern that I have observed but seem to have little control over short of just awareness of it. Thoughts and emotions and feelings are mysterious things. And, uh, you know, it's hard enough when you're talking about trying to interpret or understand the thoughts and feelings of others. But, you know, it seems like your own, you ought to be able to, you know, get that stuff locked down. But I don't know. So <clears throat> I think ultimately, though, that that frustration is one of the reasons that stories and storytelling are so powerful, not just, you know, to me, but, uh, you know, as, you know, a human thing, because it can give us these glimpses of understanding of both others and of ourselves. I think that's right. But how can I know for sure? Remember, all of the stuff I do will go up on ChristianaEllis.com and I will talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes.